Let's take a look at division questions. Um, just assume that they're all non-calculator unless I mention otherwise. So 78 divided by 6. Well, I don't know my 6 times table that high, so therefore what I'm going to do is a bus stop. So how many 6s go into 78? What is 7 divided by 6? Well, 7 divided by 6 is 1 with a remainder of 1, which I'll put on the 8. 6 is into 18, or 18 divided by 6 is 3. So the answer is therefore 13. 296 divided by 4, put 4 on the outside of the bus stop and the number we're dividing on the inside. 2 divided by 4, well that can't be done, don't be tempted to write 2 because 4 uh, because four divided by 2 is 2, it's 2 divided by 4, this is the number that we're dividing by. So whenever this number here is lower than the number on the outside, put a 0 and carry that number across. What's 29 divided by 4? That is 7. 7 fours are 28, so there's a remainder of 1, which we'll put on the uh, 6 to make a 16. 16 divided by 4 is 4, so the answer is therefore 74. 152 divided by 8. 1 divided by 8 can't be done, so 0, carry the 1. 15 divided by 8 is 1, with a remainder of um, 7. And 72 divided by 8, uh, well if you've got good times tables you'll know that that is 9, so the answer is therefore 19. And 414 divided by 18, now this is quite a horrible one, um, so you could try and do it the normal way, it might work out okay perhaps. How many 18s go into 4? None, carry the 4. How many 18s go into 41? Well, I know that two 18s are 36, and three 18s is greater than 41, so it's going to be two. Two 18s are 36, and that is a remainder of um, uh, five. And 54 divided by 18, well, I know from darts that triple 18 is 54, so the answer is therefore three, so the answer is 23. However, what you could do, um, if, if I just give you a, an easy question, if I said to you, what is 40 divided by 20? How many 20s go into 40 is 2. If I half both numbers, what's 20 divided by 10? The answer is still 2. We've got two even numbers, so what we could do here, I don't like dividing by a two-digit number. But if I divide it by 2, I get 9, and 414 divided by 2 is 207. So I could just do how many 9s go into 207? 9s into 2 don't go, carry the 2, 9s into 20 is 2, remainder 2, 9s into 27 is 3, still get the same number, but it's much easier dividing by a single digit than a double digit number generally. Question number 5, Jamie and his 7 friends are out for a meal, the bill is £200, so we are dividing this not by 7, which was the mistake I made the first time round, but by 8, because Jamie is not one of the 7 friends, so we're dividing 200 by 8. Um, so we can do a bus stop, or quite often when I'm dividing by 8, I'll just half it, half it again, and half it again, but maybe that's a bit confusing. 8s um, into 2 don't go, carry the 2. 8s into 20 goes twice with a remainder of 4. 8s into 40 go 5 times, so they all have to pay £25 per person. Question 6. What's 289 divided by 17? Really, really horrible. Um, I don't expect you to know your 17 times table. We might have to just write, work out the 17 times table though. Um, 17s into 2 don't go, carry the 2. 17s into 28 goes 1 with a remainder of 11. So now we just have to divide 119 by 17, which is horrible. So write out our 17 times table. 17, 34, 51, 68, 85, 102119 and we've hit the jackpot um, I would expect you to take much longer I, I already had this prepared so I, there's no way I could have done it that quickly just trying to save some time so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7 so 2, 8, 9 divided by 17 is 17 we probably need to do the same for this question here note that it won't divide exactly because we've been asked for a remainder 2 divided by 16, 0, carry 2. 28 divided by 16 is 1 with a remainder of 12. Right, let's write out our 16 times table. So 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 112, 128. No point going further because we'll overshoot the 129. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
8 is 128, so there's one left over. So actually we don't need the 18, we just need that there's a remainder of one. 6c, we're doing a similar thing, except it's 289 divided by 15. 15's into two, don't go, zero carry two. 15's into 28, goes once with um, a remainder of, uh, well one times 15 is 15, what's 28 take away 15, that is uh, 13. So what's 139 divided by 15? So let's just go through our 15 times table. This one should be a little bit easier. Um, so let's just go 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, 135. Um, no point going any further because we'll overshoot the 139. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 135 versus 139, so that is a remainder of four. So the remainder is a remainder of four there. Question number seven, we can use a calculator, which is good news. So all we need to do is 312 students divided by the 27, and 312 divided by 27, I'm not sure if that works out exactly. No, it comes to 11.5 recurring coaches. So we need to think about this. We can't have 11 and a half coaches, so that's gonna round up obviously to 12 coaches. 377 divided by 13. Again, just type that in on a calculator. 377, hit the divide button, 13 equals, and you'll get an answer of 29. And what is the remainder when you divide 419 by 21? Well, on the calculator, when you type in 419 divided by 21, you get 19.95 dot, 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 dot. So what we're gonna do here is, well, it's, it's at least 19 21s go into 419. Uh, in fact, it's closer to 20. So what is 19 times 21? Well, 19 times 21 comes to a total of 399. So what is the remainder? What's the difference between 399 and 419? That is a difference of 20. So the remainder is therefore 20. Question number 10, what's 623 divided by seven? Well, how many sevens go into 623? Six divided by seven, zero carry the six. 62 divided by, divided by seven is eight. Eight sevens are 56, and that's a remainder of six. 63 divided by seven is nine, so the answer is 89. Uh, my seven times table is pretty good, but if you want to give yourself a better chance of getting the question right, maybe write out your seven times table at the start. For question 11, maybe write out your eight times table before you get going. So how many eights go into 592? Five divided by eight is zero, carry the five. 59 divided by eight is seven. seven Seven eights are 56, so that's a remainder of three. 32 divided by eight is four, so the answer is 74. And how many nines go into 531? Five divided by nine is zero, carry the five. 53 divided by nine is five. Five nines are 45, so that's a remainder of eight. 81 divided by nine is nine, so the answer is 59. Question number 13 is uh, fairly horrible, but luckily you can use a calculator. So we don't, we're not expecting 907 to be divided by uh, 29 exactly, because they've asked us to give a remainder. But if we type it into our calculator, we get 31 point some crazy decimal number. So we know that 31 times 29 is gonna be under 907. So what is 31 times 29? or 31 times 29 it comes to 899. And if we do 32, 29, we're gonna overshoot the 907, and that's why we've got 31 point something. Um, so what's the difference between 899 and 907? There's a difference of eight, so the remainder is eight.